Can you see the larvae in there? Yes. Okay. There she is. Right in the middle of the frame. You see her? Mm, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The big one. Yeah. The long tail. Buzz. On May 8th, I helped a family install three packages. I removed the pink cap from the queen cages to expose the candy and hung the cages between frames with a straightened paper clip. Two days later, it's time to make sure the queens have been released and to remove the queen cages. The paper clip makes it easy to locate the queen cage. If she was accepted, most of the bees will be concentrated on the frames nearest to the cage. The bees usually attach the queen cage to the frame with wax. I like to pry the frames apart to create a little space, gently use my hive tool to separate the cage from the comb, and then use the paper clip to lift the cage out of the hive. If the candy is all gone, the queen has been released. A few workers will be crawling on or inside the cage, probably because it still smells like the queen. Shake them off, push the frames together, and close up the hive. As I remove the queen cage from another hive, I want to make an important point. I can't emphasize enough at this point that you need to resist the urge to remove and inspect frames, and especially resist looking for the queen. There's no benefit to inspecting this early. There won't be eggs yet, and at least in Alaska, it's still cold. Force yourself to be patient and wait another week. Seven days after releasing the queen, it's time for the first inspection. Our goal is simple, look for eggs or larvae. It's still chilly, so we want to accomplish this task fairly fast. I pull an outside frame to make room, then shift frame sideways so I can pull a frame from the center of the cluster. It's fine to scan quickly for the queen, but only a few seconds. It's still cold. We do not want to chill the brood. Always hold the frame directly over the box. That way, if the queen falls, she drops right back into the hive. Sometimes, it helps to have the sun shining over your shoulder directly into the cells on the frame. You still need to keep the frame over the box. Blowing gently will clear the bees from an area, allowing you to look inside. Can you see the larvae in there? Yes. Okay. Once we find eggs or larvae, we're done. Put the hive back together and look forward to checking on them again in another two weeks. As I go through the other two colonies, let's talk about a good inspection schedule. This chart shows the schedule I follow. You can substitute your installation date and calculate the correct dates for each of your subsequent inspections. One week after the queen is released is to check for eggs. If you don't have eggs, get guidance from your supplier and or a mentor or your local club. Inspection three is three weeks after the queen is released. You should find eggs, larvae, capped brood, stored syrup, and stored pollen. There she is, right in the middle of the frame. You see her? Mm, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The big one. Yeah. The long tail. All right. And I see eggs in all those cells. Can yes, you see that? Yes, eggs. Yep. After inspection three, you should check your colonies about once weekly, especially if you are a newer beekeeper. You'll be making sure the queen has room to lay and looking for indications they might be preparing to swarm. We'll be following the progress of these packages all season long, as always. Thanks for supporting my channel. Blue.